Modern women have destroyed many of the things men wanted. Healthy relationships, modesty, and even the gym. Yes, many men considered the gym as their sanctuary, but sadly women killed this notion. Remember the good old days when gyms were buzzing with activity and you could just go there to get ripped? The sounds of weights clanging, the steady beat of footsteps on a treadmill, and the grunts of people pushing their limits. But these days, it's like someone hit the mute button. And guess who's missing from this picture? Yep, you got it, men. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not like guys have suddenly lost interest in looking good or staying healthy. No sir, they're still all about those gains. Paying a gym membership these days comes with a hefty price tag. It's not because things got more expensive, uh-uh. It's because your peace of mind and reputation might get tarnished for being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Check this out. Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Keep the question. If you're getting rude with me, nobody was looking at you inside the room. I don't own the gym, I work here. Yes. And if you're getting rude, then you can leave. I can go on the police and have the trespass right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let him know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and hit up front. Hi, Cut the cameras. This is the problem of modern society. It's not that men are toxic or right-wing assholes for going to the gym, which is a stupid narrative. When women get away with whatever they do, these things happen. More on that in a second. In today's video, we're delving into this phenomenon of gyms going broke, men's boycott of gyms, and why this is driving modern women insane. Stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to The Saint Demon. He said, It's easier to win the man guide $5 than to find a modern woman who is marriage material. Well, it looks like you've got a point. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. Did you hear something? Hernia. Oh, we see the camera. You won't call a man a creep today. Picture this. You walk into your local gym, ready for a solid workout. You're there to break a sweat, build some muscle, and get healthier. In fact, it's not hard to see other men getting ripped and flexing their muscles while flirting with chicks. And yeah, 99.9% .9 of these women are not dressing modestly at all. But instead of feeling motivated, you feel like you're constantly being watched and judged. Why? Because you're a man. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But that's exactly what's happening in gyms all over America. Men are feeling uncomfortable, and it's not because of the heavy weights or intense workouts. It really feels great to do bench presses, curls, and all that good stuff while you grow your muscles and improve your health. No pain, no gain, they said. But being called names is really a pain in the neck. Men are worried that they'll be labeled as gym creeps. Just like innocent men go to jail for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, men in the gym are doing all they can to avoid committing the crime of gazing at women. Here's the story. It all started with a trend on TikTok where women would call out men they thought were staring at them in the gym. 
And soon enough, it blew up because of the Me Too movement. Men were being called creeps and accused of looking at women and making them feel uncomfortable. But here's the thing, many of these accusations are false. Like, girl, you're dressing in a certain type of way, wearing revealing clothing, and blaming men for giving you just what you wanted, free attention. This is what really boggles my mind, and look, most men are in the gym to get shredded. This is not salsa class, you know the drill. Men go to dance classes to get laid, that's for sure. But when men hit the gym, they're just trying to look better, and flirting with women is the last thing that crosses their minds. Plus, the mere act of looking at women might be a massive L. It's as if it was a crime to look at women. Take the case of Jessica Fernandez, a fitness influencer who zoomed in on a guy in her gym and called him a creep. Turns out, he was just there to work out, just like her. She even admitted her mistake later. But by then, the damage was done, the guy was humiliated, and men everywhere started feeling the heat. Imagine being told by society that you need to fulfill the rules of sixes, including a sculpted six-pack, of course. However, when you try to get stronger in the gym, modern women want to falsely accuse you, put you in jail, and all that jazz for the sake of getting attention. For real, imagine you're lifting weights, dreaming of becoming like a bodybuilder, but then a woman yells at you for invading her personal space. What's more, in another incident, a woman accused a man of staring at her in the gym. He was legally blind. Talk about a misunderstanding. This gym creep trend has caused quite a divide. On one hand, women have every right to feel safe and comfortable while working out, don't get me wrong. But 99.9% .9 of men in the gym are not there to look at women's bodies. Some of these bodies are fake, by the way. On the other hand, innocent men are being falsely accused and labeled as creeps. It's a tricky situation, and it's making gyms a tense place for men. Remember that old saying that goes, chivalry is dead and women killed it? You could argue that gyms are broke and it's women's fault. actually is interested in talking to her and asking her out on a date and he's waiting for the right moment because that's how it works when you meet people you look at them i'm gonna put on full makeup and make sure my hair is flawless and pick out why a do they wear outfit and then go to the gym and then get mad when men find me attractive okay all right let's unravel this a bit more most men are hitting the gym for genuine reasons. It's about maintaining a healthy lifestyle, improving cardiovascular health, gaining strength, or losing a bit of that belly fat that seems to have settled in over the years. Nothing weird, though. It's a quest for health, confidence, and longevity. When a man walks into a gym, he carries aspirations of a healthier self, not fantasies of flirtation and banging women left and right. It's about challenging personal limits, pushing boundaries, and setting new goals. The gym is a sacred space, almost a sanctuary for men who understand that real change comes from consistent effort and dedication. Each drop of sweat shed is a testament to that commitment. But what's the purpose of women who go to the gym? Getting fit or getting male attention? Maybe both, because most of these chicks don't train their arms at all. They just want to get a bigger booty. Yes, sir. It's not precisely for themselves, but for everyone else to see, including men, of course. I mean, why do women train their butts and legs so much? Is it to dunk or jump higher? No, they're superficial and know very well that men are visual, so they go ahead and train what men will see. But then, these same chicks complain that a random guy gazed at her for one second. Come on, I mean, what do you want then? It's disheartening to witness the distortion of these sincere intentions. The narrative of the gym creep has created a cloud of suspicion over every man present in the gym. It's not innocent until proven guilty, but the other way around. And the joy of self-improvement is overshadowed by the fear of false accusations. Men are becoming cautious, constantly watching their actions, just so they are not misinterpreted as predatory gazes. Consider the case of the average Joe, a software engineer who diligently hits the gym after work. 
He got his money on point, but his fitness motivation was simple, to shed the sedentary cloak of his desk job. One day, while doing squats, he noticed a fellow gym goer struggling with her workout. Being courteous, he offered a few words of encouragement. That act of kindness was mistaken for something far darker. The woman accused him of inappropriate advances, tarnishing his reputation within the gym community. Yes, this is not an exception, it's the rule. Average men who hit the gym might get their reputations hurt because a woman accused him of looking at her lustfully, all while she was wearing skin-tight clothing. But she will never tell that part of the story. Accountability, anyone? Jim Creep was staring at me, and this happened. He put on a blindfold lol. Let's keep it a thousand. These incidents have lasting effects on a man's psyche. The gym, once a place of personal growth, turns into a potential battlefield where a single misunderstanding can destroy a man emotionally and socially. Trust is shattered, confidence bruised, and the mental toll it takes can often go unnoticed. The gym, meant to be an environment where men get over breakups and become gigachads, has turned into a place where men are now afraid to express themselves genuinely. Look in the wrong direction and you'll be called a creep for life. Gyms are meant to be spaces for personal growth and transformation. However, for some men, these environments have morphed into arenas of discomfort and apprehension. Stories abound of men facing uncomfortable situations, enduring sidelong glances, and bearing the burden of false accusations. Personal experiences often highlight the discomfort men face. A simple glance towards the mirror to check his form and technique was misconstrued, leaving him feeling judged and scrutinized. One significant challenge men encounter in such settings is the weight of false accusations, Accusations of unfounded or inappropriate behavior, even when untrue, can irreparably tarnish a man's reputation. False accusations not only affect one's emotional well-being, but also have far-reaching consequences, impacting personal and professional spheres. In response to such distressing dynamics, the men going their own way, MGTOW movement has gained traction. MGTOW is a philosophical stance where men consciously choose to disengage from long-term romantic or societal expectations, seeking to protect themselves from potential legal and emotional risks. Many men are embracing MGTOW, in part due to the fear of false allegations and their detrimental consequences. The community and philosophy are seen as a self-protective measure, enabling men to live life on their terms without being unduly burdened by societal expectations or potential legal risks. Keeping your wallet and dignity safe is not just important, it's a necessity in today's day and age. False allegations, especially in the realm of dating and relationships, can have severe repercussions, from damage to reputation and mental distress to potential legal battles. The risks loom large. Some men have found in MGTOW a way to mitigate these risks by avoiding long-term romantic relationships and focusing on their personal growth and well-being. But that's just a fraction of what's going on. Since the gyms are also like landmines, men are going for other options like calisthenics. Yes sir, men aren't just sitting around feeling sorry for themselves, they're taking action, and their solution is as simple as it is effective, calisthenics. Calisthenics is all about using your body weight for resistance. You don't need fancy gym equipment or a pricey membership, all you need is a park or a public space and you're good to go. It's a great way to stay fit, and best of all, it's free from the fear of false accusations. <laughs> Real talk. The rise in calisthenics isn't just a fitness trend, it's a statement. Men are saying, we won't be made to feel uncomfortable for wanting to stay healthy. The guy doing push-ups in the park? Remember, he's not just working out his body, he's also working out his right to exercise without fear of being falsely accused. Because at the end of the day, Everyone deserves to feel safe and comfortable while getting fit. And yeah, men have rights too. Excuse me, are you using this? Yeah, can I like work in with you? Work 
Like, can I, like, work in with you? You take too long. When MGTOWs say these types of things, it's not for self-pity or victimizing men at all. The reality is that most men out there wanted not only healthy relationships, but also a place to get stronger and improve themselves, aka the gym. However, modern women's thirst for attention is all-encompassing. They go to the gym, use it as some sort of runway or OF plateau, and even record themselves doing squats, showing their half-naked bodies and all that jazz. But God forbid you to look at a woman and she records you. In that case, you're automatically a creep, a perv, a weirdo, and all the names under the sun. This is crazy. It's impossible to have healthy social interactions with these 304s, because that's what they really are. You know how it goes. Social interactions are almost needed to survive in society. Not so long ago, gyms were not just about lifting weights, it was about sharing workout tips and motivating other fellow members. But these days, this is far from the truth. I mean, extreme reactions and false accusations? Not cool. It's absolutely not okay to point fingers without any solid evidence. False accusations can mess up lives, and that's just not fair game. It's like getting a penalty for a game you didn't even play. Imagine someone misinterpreting your friendly gesture at the gym and labeling it as harassment. Not a great feeling, right? Accusations without real substance not only tarnish reputations, but also erode the trust that's so important for healthy human gym interactions. Public spaces, especially gyms, should be like a second home where each person can lift weights and help others. But women don't care about the community, or maybe they do. They might care about getting male attention online and destroying the reputation of an innocent man. The market rules, they say, so it's normal to see few men hitting the gym these days. Modern women are the main cause of the bankruptcy of gyms, but they'll never admit they've falsely accused men, and even worse, will never tell you the part that they dress provocatively to get that male attention that they complain about. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.